Well, um, <laughs> false alarm, false a darn alarm. I'm in my car about to do Uber. Man, I just want to say my energy was right today. My energy was right. I thought I was going to get my first load today and it didn't work out like that. But I wanted to give a quick little update real fast on the process and give some advice if I can, if any, because I am not in the cargo game yet. Yes, I have a cargo van. Yes, I have a DOT. Yes, I have an MC. Yes, I drive under my own authority or so and have my own LLC, but I've not made any loads yet. I want to say that if you do not have any connections in the game, a friend, a family member, a associate, um, an Instagram follower, maybe uh, for y'all that do social media or so, that's been you know watching people do loads and stuff and make runs or and know somebody from YouTube that is in the field or so, you will not get in to the game you will not get into the game like that if you have gotten to the game on your own merit and you just call logistic companies or you call carrier companies and you've called brokers and they've automatically taken you on and sign you up to make loads and runs on your own then you are an anomaly so the issue i was having even after the 21 day vetting period to get my mc after that, there's another 90 day process. There's another 90 day driving experience vetting period. So when I was filling out apps and even talking to brokers or so, they were letting me know like, hey, you know, it's gonna be tough for you to get work. You know, you haven't even been driving 90 days. I'm like, all right, cool, I get it, cool. So with me, my end was, I gotta, I gotta shout out my boy, Chris, man, my boy, Chris. And it all happened through YouTube. Um, Chris Unbiased, if y'all know, if y'all any of you guys watch Battle Rap, not a lot of people do, so if y'all don't know, but I hit him up on YouTube, uh, he gave me his email, and honestly, I didn't know I was going to get into this field, I was talking to him, I was talking to him about Battle Rap at first, and just emailing him back and forth, and this is way back when I was in graduate school at Morgan State University, and just saluting him for, you know, me just being a fan of, like, his blogs and stuff. So I eventually wanted to transition out of education and, you know, start and be my own boss and be independent. And I'm on that roll, it looks like. And so I signed up with a, a logistic company that he recommended me to, that he carries under. And yeah, I applied and yeah, I got it. Like the application was approved. So some things did come back for the application process was pretty smooth, but you just got to make sure you have, you cross all your T's and dot all your I's. I didn't have the million dollar insurance. I told y'all that before. I only had 300,000. I could not afford the million dollar insurance single liability policy. I did not have that. I had to get that in order to carry for them. So I'll be carrying under their authority. So I had to call my insurance car company, which is progressive and up my policy, it cost me additional 8K um, to change that policy. Then I didn't have um, cargo liability. This was something that I didn't see on a number of YouTubes and a number of my researches. And for me personally, I'm guess I'm thinking, you know, why do I need cargo liability if commercial insurance covers, you know, like the van and like the materials and any, any if you were happen to have the accident, like it's covered under commercial insurance, I would think. But no, you also need cargo liability and that and for that that was a hundred thousand dollar um policy or so i gotta reject this call reject reject um i hope that doesn't interfere the video so and i'll, I'll wrap this up fast so i just want to say my application was approved um and today was the first day where they asked me like they text you and ask you hey what's your what's your availability and what's your what's your zip code so I told him my availability is I'm available ASAP. I'm ready right now. Like I'm thinking I'm ready right now. And and then to, you text them your zip code and hopefully they'll look for, I don't, I don't know necessarily how it goes. I would have taken y'all through the entire process and what went down if I had won a load for the first time today, but that didn't happen. So I eventually just ate lunch and went to sleep. <laughs> a little frustrated or so, cause I thought today was going to be the day. And I actually text them 
and was like, hey, ain't no lows today. They was like, no, not yet. So at least that we had that communication or so. But I want to say if you're calling logistic companies or carrier companies or brokers on your own or so, just let them know. Let them know that you're willing to ride under their authority, carry under their authority. Um, you don't necessarily, it's probably going to be pretty tough to ride under your own authority in, um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a new, as a new cargo driver. So you tell them you're willing to drive under your authority. Honestly, you'll probably take a little less money on the mile, um, but at least you'll get that experience for, you know, three to six months until, you know, that vetting process of you doing the 90 days is over. And, you know, I'm hoping that's the outlook and the insight, but I'm willing to carry for anybody right now because I'm in my car, I'm about to do Uber, and I enjoy Uber, Uber, Uber. Uber has been good to me or so. It's just the mileage on the car and everything, but I enjoy the customers. I'm rated five stars, so I'm doing something right. And just wanted to chronicle everything I went through as far as emotions and all that other stuff. I got the glasses on to keep from crying because I, I was sad. I mean, I was hyped today. I was like, it's gonna come. The load's gonna come. Soon as my application was approved, man, I told my boy Chris, I said, Chris, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I know I'm gonna get a load tomorrow. I know I'm gonna get a load tomorrow. I'm hyped because it's been a long, long process. Um, from yeah, I'll just, I'll just say that it's been a long process. The, getting the van was easy. <laughs> getting into the game has been really, really tough. But I've been waiting it out. I've been consistently calling, calling carry companies, calling brokers, calling logistic companies, trying to get it in. Um, my in so far um, has been a friend of mine. So I hope y'all have some networking abilities and stuff like that. Most of y'all have social media, so use that to its advantage. And, you know, thanks for tuning in and for the few responses I've gotten for the views. Like, I'm not really care about, I, I really didn't know or care to, you know, be viewed however many times or so. But a lot of you in the comments have encouraged me and told me to keep on pushing or you've mentioned or you've given some good advice from people that have been into the been in the game a while and i appreciate it man and i, t I don't take it for granted and you're affecting my life in a sense so shout out to y'all thank y'all anybody that's new that's getting into the cargo business and transportation business keep on pushing keep on going um if i'm able to help i'll give out my email anytime you like just write it down in the comments it's your boy mania man i don't know where that came from i don't but hey, I'm Indian man now. For Alex Total Transportation, it's Uber time. I'm going to get that money. Y'all have a good weekend.